All right, YouTube, here is my Lifetime Tamarack 120 Angler Kayak. It's 10 feet long, uh, 31 inches wide, weighs about 52 pounds, and has a weight capacity of um, 275 pounds. I'm out here fishing Nemesilla Reservoir in Ohio. No luck yet, but I wanted to do a quick review of this kayak. Um, I got it at Walmart on uh, on sale with tax for 240 it did come with a paddle although the site didn't advertise it um, Cabela's wants 500 for it so quite a difference uh, looking around the kayak I'm standing right now as you can tell um, stability is decent um, I don't know if you uh, landed into a big fish how it would do if you're standing but for reference I'm 5'9 about 150 and my balance is pretty good uh, to the rear of the kayak, uh, I have my tackle bag. Under that is another hatch like this one up front. Um, and I did do the uh, golf ball, the femme golf balls for my scupper plugs. They work out pretty good. I don't have these two in here as you can see, but the ones in the seat uh, work good. I haven't been getting wet. I picked up a seat cushion based on others reviews at Dick's. I think that was seven bucks. Um, so it comes with a rod holder. Um, two in the back um, as far as the hatches go let me sit down here and open them uh, the cup holders not good at all your cups not going to stay up right in there at all so I got to rig something else up uh, this is the first time I've had the boat on the water as far as the hatch haven't got any water inside but you can see there's no bag um, you could probably stick a small paint can or something in here or buy a new hatch that has the bag with it i did take these screws out and um put some silicone under it just to seal it better um there's a drain plug here and one in the back if you see the handle at the top there what i don't like is that handle is connected to a threaded in plug which i imagine if you had any weight in this while you were dragging the boat or anything those threads being plastic and all could eventually just um, rip out. Um, now the handle on the back is tied onto a molded part of the kayak which uh, looks more sturdy. Move my tackle bag here. Uh, here's the other hatch. Now I can't take these screws out because they're a special type of security screw but you can probably get a bit from Harbor Freight to take that out. Um, as you can see the scupper plugs in the back. No water's been getting through. Um, Real quick here, I will just do a stand-up test while I'm sitting here, and here we go. So, standing up was pretty easy. I didn't have to have a strap to hold on. Um, again, um, I can stand and make cast in it, but if I landed into a big fish and set the hook, I don't know how it would do. Um, I guess it all depends on your balance. So, overall... Um, pretty happy with the boat so far, especially for the price. Um, the paddle, I might have to upgrade at some point. It's not quite long enough based on my height and the width of the boat. Um, show you the seat. So without the cushion, that's what it looks like. Uh, it's not bad. You could probably last a couple hours. But again, this was pretty cheap, so I picked one up. And then this folds down, and you just adjust it um, right here. Um, it did come, if you see back here, there were bungees that uh, crisscrossed across, um, and I got rid of those just for today. Um, and again, up front it has them, that's where I store the life jacket. So I'll be making some modifications based on today, but for 240 bucks, I'd say it's worth the investment.